Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here, or m Productions, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO System Star Wars set from 1999. This is the Land Speeder set 7110 with 47 pieces and recommended for ages 6 to 10. I always found that little logo pretty funny on these old LEGO Star Wars sets. Uh, this set back in the day, back in 1999, upon its original release, would have set you back 6 bucks. but in 2019 money, when this review is being filmed 20 years later, and if you want to buy one of these brand new in-the-box current day on on eBay, they're going to run you at least $25, some running $30, $40, and even $50. So if you look for a good auction, maybe you'll get lucky and get it on the low end. But if you're unlucky, you're going to end up having to pay on the high end if you don't want to be patient and wait for the best deal. So definitely can be an expensive set nowadays. Got the two minifigures in here, Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan. We'll take a look at them in a moment. The side of the box highlights those two figures. We have a lot of text on the box as well. A lot of warning labels and the back of the box has a very interesting extra build here kind of a different spin on Luke's land speeder and then we also have Luke's land speeder kind of half disassembled there uh, with the figures around it as well always found this old 1999 box art a bit charming so let's go ahead and bring over the figures to take a closer look at them first minifigure up is Ben Kenobi here he's got his regular tan look for him nothing really special or out of the ordinary for this figure I will say the face print for 1999 though is really good I think that one is is one that they really nailed for this character especially for the the time period got a solid looking gray hair piece nothing uh gonna be printed on his back face that just wasn't invented at the time and as for his lightsaber he's got the chrome lightsaber hilt with the blue lightsaber blade so very nice looking lightsaber just uh very shiny chrome there gotta love that but a very simple figure for a very simple time and of course the yellow skin tones are in this set because it's so old and this may surprise a lot of people, but a Luke Skywalker with full leg printing was included in a $6 set in 1999. This is an amazing figure that at the time would have definitely made this set worth it. He's actually got a very nice custom printed face as usual, like with the Luke Skywalker look to it. Very nice eyebrows and a thin looking mouth below. The torso looks good, but I will say at least on mine, there's a slight misprint where the yellow comes a little bit over the black line that is there. So that's just something to note. The leg print looks awesome though. That's something great that they were able to get on a figure in 1999. You just didn't see that all the time. As you would expect, there is no back print or second face because that's how things were in 1999 things have come a long way. This land speeder is undoubtedly small. For reference, I have the 2009 Luke's land speeder, which is the size of pretty much every Luke's land speeder other than uh, the, the 1999 version here. And you can just see how much bigger uh, the newer versions are and how small and cramped this old one is. I think it really puts it in perspective. Um, I, I, it's hard to say, obviously it was 1999, so you can't really make that a fair comparison. They really didn't have the same pieces to work with and they were working within a different price point in time. Entirely. So you take a look at a set like this for six bucks and a set like the ninth tier two and a set like the 2009 version that cost $25 and you can understand that there's obviously going to be a difference there in the building philosophy and what you're going to do size wise but you know it's small set so you have one small little grill on the front for some I guess ventilation for the engine you have a very interesting windshield piece this set looks very blocky um, especially compared to the newer Luke's land speeders all of them are substantially better than this one and I think that's the story of this set you don't buy this Luke's land speeder because you think it's the best Luke's land speeder. You buy it for the nostalgia, the novelty of having the original. That's really the only reason you should buy this. I know we're very early in the review for me to be giving opinions like that, but that is why you should buy this set. Anyway, uh, the front end of the land speeder does nothing. It just looks cool. Kind of looks like a Klondike bar, I guess, but yeah, we can put two minifigs in. There are a couple of chairs for Luke and Obi-Wan here, so you can sit them both in there. Now, what this set is distinctly lacking is any type of control panel or maybe a steering wheel for your characters to use really any playability other than swooshing the thing around and that's something that lego's been really good at in the last 20 years other than really with the first few years of lego star wars uh, the set just had nothing going on for it i mean i guess it had something you had a little trunk here but it's really hard to open because this four by six plate is what you have to pull off um you can't just pull it off like that because that just pulls off but it's actually like connected on like 12 different studs so you've got to really get at it and obviously brick separators uh 
weren't really easily available in 1999. You can see the issue this might cause for a lot of people and children are really gonna have an extra tough time. What you can do with this though actually is stick the lightsaber in that little space. So that's kind of cool. That's a, a uh, feature that's actually been around on every Luke's Lane Speeder now. Like they have not gotten rid of this little back storage compartment, which is nice, but there you can see um, it is stuck all the way around on all of those studs. I mean, it is not coming off at all very easily. So that's something. Uh, you do have the custom molded engines, which look really great, I will say. All three of them are the same, so you don't actually have the damaged one uh, that you do see in the movie. But we can forgive that accuracy for the $6 set from 20 years ago, I think. But yeah, very small little set. Nothing really major to say about it other than... You shouldn't buy it unless you just want a Luke's Land Speeder that's from 1999. You literally should only buy this set if you like the novelty of having the original. I don't think it's really worth it as a standalone. I want the best Luke's Land Speeder for my mock set. I think that can be uh, found better in other sets like the 2009 version or even more current versions. I think there's one coming out in 2020. So keep that in mind. If you're in the market for a Luke's Land Speeder, this should not be your first choice unless you're uh, a nostalgia driven fella. So let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed you can check out my other 1999 lego star wars set reviews with the playlist right on the end card now